What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you everything that I'm bringing on my big trip. I am leaving in three days to travel the world for eight months. Uh, I say that, but I also don't really have a plan, so it could be anything. Not sure. <laughs> but that's why it's an adventure. Anyway, so this video is about everything that I'm bringing or that I want to bring and hopefully will fit my bag. I think I can do it. This is just what I really want to bring and feel like is necessary for me and how I want to do this trip. For instance, I'm doing a lot of photography, so I'm bringing a tripod. Most people don't need to bring a tripod. I'm going to start by going through all of my clothing and showing you all of that and then go through everything else. So I've got everything laid out here just for ease and I'm going to go through and show you everything. It's a little linen top and some jean shorts that I will also be packing. Start with pants. These are very light, thin cotton pants, uh, shorts that I can wear while sleeping and also over top of a bathing suit. And then I've got a pair of blue jeans that are actually pretty light. They're like almost jeggings. I have a pair of black leggings that I can wear under other pants or just for exercise or whatever. And I have a pair of black linen pants, which are like a wide-legged linen pant. These are Eddie Bauer, just sort of like very light, quick-drying pants. They also have buttons on the legs so I can like hike them up for capris. Moving on, so I have a wrap dress here. It's about knee length and three-quarter sleeve. This white is actually, it's got these white, blue and black and purple and green splotches on it. It's a UV protection shirt and it also acts as a long sleeve shirt. And then I have a flannel button up shirt here that I can wear over all of my other shirts. Camisole that I can wear under things and also the bed or whatever. This is a nicer top. It's a high neck tank top. This is just a regular black casual tank top, a, this is gray, it looks white, but it's gray with a little bit of white lace detail, just a regular t-shirt, and this is a black really long t-shirt. Um, it goes about mid-thigh on me. These are my packing cubes. This one will be for all of the main clothes, and this is all of the underwear. I'm taking four pairs of little ankle socks, one pair of thick wool socks and one pair of really high compression compression socks. The compression socks are for wearing on the airplanes. I will be taking one bralette, one sports bra. I'm also wearing a nude underwire bra that I'll be taking. I've got four pairs of underwear here, uh, two nude, two black, and I'm wearing a pair of nude. I have this one right here and the one I'm wearing are actually ex officio, which are that really cool brand. They're I love those. Bikini and the full length bathing suit that I'm bringing. They're really cheap. <laughs> With those I'll have my flip flops, which are also my shower shoes. I've got two pairs of sunglasses, also really cheap. If I lose them, don't care. These are little slippers. They fold up really, really small, but they're really comfy and I can wear them on the plane. These are my hiking boots. They're also waterproof, so they're just sort of, you know, warm and dry and good for when it's not warm and dry. <laughs> Sneakers, they fold completely flat and don't take up a lot of space, but they're really, really comfortable. Those are also really cheap from Walmart. Love those, actually. And then these are my Tiva sandals. They've actually got a wedge on the heel, so they're a little bit nicer looking, but also really comfortable. Can wear them for miles and miles, and they're great. Moving into sort of the outerwear, I've got a pair of gloves here. I've got a wool hat, and this is my scarf, and it's actually... It's just a big piece of fabric that I bought and sort of cut the ends up to braid it. And I have sort of taught myself how to wrap this all around my body to create different dresses, tops, skirts, dresses, whatever. That's really versatile. Then I have my puffer coat. It's just a little puffer jacket. Folds up really small, um, but it's also really warm because it's all down. So that's great. And then this is a, it's actually a windbreaker, but it does pretty well with the rain. It's like, it leaks a little bit at the seams, but... It, it does fine. So I'm gonna use that as my rain cover and then just get a little bit wet. <laughs> That's everything I'm taking for clothes. Now we will move on to everything else. So this is everything else. And then that top row is what we just looked at. So these are the clothes all packed up. Uh, moving on, we've got, this is a day pack. So it's a really small backpack, folds up really small. Uh, my computer, 
this is a little kit of all of my electronics, so a hard drive, cords, camera batteries, etc. I've got my Kindle, a notebook, a map of the world that I plan to like have people sign as I go. These are envelopes with travel documents and personal documents, things like that. Moving into toiletries, my retainer. These are Lush shampoo bar, deodorant, toothbrush, etc., etc. Toiletries. <laughs> they all go in this. Got a couple packets of tissues. And then these are my liquids. Um, these are all oils. I use Young Living Essential Oils, and each one, and they do different things. Like peppermint's good for motion sickness. Lavender is good for like relaxing and going to sleep. You know, face wash, moisturizer antibacterial cream, concealer, mascara, hand sanitizer, nasal spray, small med kit, Tiger Balm, Burt's Bees, hand salve, but I use it especially on my nose if it's really dry. This is a pouch of vitamins. It's got a bunch of different things like activated charcoal, garlic, apple cider vinegar, daily vitamin, also zinc because I'm deficient in zinc. So this is the bag that all of the toiletries have to fit into. It's folded in half right now, but that's that. Um, going through airport because I only, I'm not checking a bag, so everything has to fit in the one Ziploc. This is my passport, headphones, uh, charger cord, extra battery, my purse that I take, all of this fits in there. This is a cable and lock, so I can lock my bag to things. This is the lock for my zippers. This is cornstarch. Um, I use it as dry shampoo. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do that. I don't think it's going to stay in the plastic bag. I think I need a different container. But I've got three days to figure that out. <laughs> this little bag has like cough drops. It also will have all of this stuff. Eye mask for sleeping, earplugs also for sleeping, a compact mirror cell phone holder that attaches to my tripod, another external battery. This is a multi-tool lens cleaner, chapstick, camera battery charger. So this is my action camera and this is the case that I made for it. So the action camera and then all of its little accessories. And then it's got a waterproof case. Those all go in there. Got my tripod, which is actually a really small tripod that I found on Amazon. I'm pretty in love with it. My camera, which I'm recording on right now. And then a little handheld tripod thing. It's just a short little six inch, eight inch one. This is the cover for my camera that I made. Extra batteries, lens cap, L bracket that goes on my tripod. Um, bug repellent wipes so they can get through the airport so I don't have to like immediately go buy bug spray. Shot wipes for when I inevitably spill something on my shirt sewing kit um these are extra fuses for my power converter crossbody bag it's a big bag but it folds up really small this is a belt that goes with my scarf when i am doing certain dress looks um this is a little pouch that my oils will go in when i get through security all of this stuff goes in that packing cube uh this is a yoga toe i'm only bringing one it comes in a set of two but i'm bringing one um because I have a bunion and my toes need need that. <laughs> Those are amazing. You should get one. Um, that's a headlamp for when I need a headlamp. This this bag is actually a bag that I made and it attaches to the outside of my backpack in case I need to like carry something wet and I want it to dry while I'm carrying my backpack. I don't know if that's a thing, but I have it now. Um, we'll see how useful that is. Uh, and then this is a mesh bag for laundry and then my laundry detergent. This is a Norwex brand laundry detergent and this pouch will last me eight months. It will last me my entire trip. You use so little of it and it does so much. Um, Norwex is amazing. Um, and this is a powder so I can put it in my bag and take it on the plane and won't get in trouble. Speaking of Norwex, this is a Norwex body cloth and a Norwex makeup remover cloth. It is so difficult to explain quickly how amazing these claws are but they're microfiber claws and they also have um elements of silver in it which kills bacteria so they never really smell unless you really abuse them <laughs> which i do but you just rub it on your body and you're clean um you get it wet and then you wipe down your body and you don't need soap and i've seen them do tests with like a plate covered in raw chicken and then they wipe the plate they do a protein test and there's no residue of chicken it's amazing makeup remover cloth so i don't need makeup remover because use this with water this is not Norwex, um, this is an REI, but it's basically the same material as this. So this is my towel, it goes in that little bag. Also have a three liter water skin that goes in my backpack. So if I'm doing like a day long hike, I'll have water. And then this is my water purifier, it's UV technology. So you just stick it in the water and it does like a liter at a time. You stick it in, you swirl the water around 
and the light comes on and it purifies the water. And then this is the backpack I'm taking. It's REI, the women's 40 liter backpack. Pretty great so far. I've used it a couple times. A couple things I forgot to mention are a water bottle, a lock for a locker in the hostels, and this. It's actually a blanket rolled up and in a case that I made to become a neck pillow. So if I need a blanket, it can be a blanket. If I want a neck pillow on an airplane, because hey, my flight to China is 14 hours long, <laughs> then I'll have a neck pillow. So now we're gonna see if I can get everything in it. Ah! So this is it. Got the carry-on in the front, big backpack in the back. But yeah, this will be me. It's pretty heavy. This guy is, let's see, nine pounds, a little over nine pounds. So if you don't have a backpack scale like this, um, and this one only goes up to 25 pounds, so it's not really that helpful for what I need, you can use just a regular house scale. Um, you stand on it, you get your weight, and then you grab the item you're trying to weigh and you just subtract your weight from the total, and the remaining is the weight of the backpack. Now I'm going to pick up my bag and see how much the weight goes up. It's about 32 to 35 pounds. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and share if you think someone you know would appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Patreon, all at Lauren Scott Wilcher. If you decide to be a patron, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks in advance for your support. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.